Hi everyone, my name is Ria of Cooking with Ria, and today I'm making doubles. What is doubles? Aside from being the most popular, cheap, satisfying, beloved street food or fast food in sweet Trinidad and Tobago, it is a deliciously sloppy sandwich made with two pillowy soft barras, flat fried breads, filled with chana, also known as curry chickpeas, even though there's no curry in my recipe. The chana is the vessel for the mouth-watering condiments and Caribbean flavors. It is a joyful culmination of savory, sweet, tangy, spicy, all in one. A gastronomical delight that's addicting and afflicting. Afflicting in the sense that one can suffer from doubles da banca, if not eaten for a very long period. A picture of doubles on social media has been known to invoke intense excitement and feeding frenzy amongst its die-hard followers. For this recipe you'll need flour, all-purpose flour. Flour now I'm going to add half teaspoon baking powder, brown sugar, salt, yeast and turmeric. I'm going to knead the flour, mix it well. and add to lukewarm water. You want a really soft dough, but not too sticky, so I'm going to continue adding the water. I'm not going to need the flour too much. I just want to move it around just enough. I don't want to work the gluten in it. about one tablespoon of oil. I'm going to let this sit about six hours or overnight. I'm going to seal it and leave it here overnight. Make the doubles chana now. These are the ingredients you'll need. Here are some varieties of chana you will find. You can use any one in this recipe. Soak chana overnight with one teaspoon baking soda and lots of water. In a pot, add 12 cups of water and bring to a boil. The chana has been soaking overnight. I'm going to rinse it off several times and pick through to see if there are any dark ones or any stones that I'm going to rinse. Now let's boil the chana. Add the chana to the boiling water. Add two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of baking soda, stir it to combine, bring it to a boil and then scoop up any impurities or bubbles that rise to the top. After the chickpeas have been boiling for about an hour and are very tender, add about two tablespoons of bandania, one tablespoon of garlic and a quarter teaspoon turmeric and mix well. Continue to boil for about 15-20 minutes and then you want to move your wooden spoon in a back and forth motion to bring it to the right consistency. 
This will take about a minute or two, so keep moving that spoon back and forth. Keep in mind that it thickens as it cools, so you want to leave a little bit of liquid in there. This seems to be perfect. Finish it off with bandania and achar masala. If you don't have achar masala, you can use ground cumin. Mix it in well, and now let's fry the bar. Heat the oil until it's very near smoking. Then you want to break off a piece of the dough. Add a little oil to the plate, put the dough on the plate and press it out to a 5 to 6 inch round. Don't worry too much about holes or unevenness, that adds character to your bara. Drop it in the hot oil and cook it for a couple of seconds on each side. If the oil is hot enough, it comes to color very quickly. If not, you'll have to leave it in there a little longer. Drain it on the side and then place it on your paper towel. Repeat with the remaining dough. Now that your bars are ready, wrap it in a paper towel, a kitchen towel, or brown paper bags and place it in a sealable container. Close it tightly and leave it there for a couple of minutes, 5 or 10 minutes, and then it's ready. Enjoy your doubles for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack with your favorite condiments.